excited to hear from you too about what you think the promise of AI is. One of them that was my favorite was um, Omar Yagi. He won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry this year for something called Metal Organic Frameworks. It's just like really nice chemicals that can um, filter CO2 and water and things like that. He's developed a chat GPT for metal organic frameworks, where what he does is he takes the existing pre-trained chat GPT, so a model that's already there, and what you can do is specifically train it for a certain task. And then it becomes like a chemistry lab assistant mm -hmm. that's really good at whatever lab thing you're doing. So the magic is you can take natural language and you can query it. You can be like, I want to create a metal organic framework that has this size in porosity uses these types of metals and that does this type of work and what it'll do is find papers for you from the thousands of papers that are written on metal organic frameworks and then it'll tell you how to devise the experiment how to manufacture this thing how to test it things like that so it's led to a huge democratization of science because now a lab that is not familiar with metal organic frameworks but might need it for some niche application that they're doing for something else can go use this chat and then try to make their own mm -hmm. in their lab because they'll have the equipment to make it, but m maybe not the expertise. It's been done for CRISPR. There's a CRISPR GPT that came out of Stanford about a month or two ago that does the same thing. You can go in and be like, I want to target this specific mutation that is related to lung cancer. What, how do I do it? And CRISPR has all of these little tricks. It's not really that simple. You have to figure out what enzyme to use. What's the guide RNA? How do you make sure that it does that specific part of DNA and doesn't like leak and do other parts of DNA? And all of these things are now ingrained in. And these labs are now using it. Like graduate students can now do an entire PhD's worth of chemistry within a few months. So a single PhD can now be can now do a lot more, right? Over three years of a PhD, instead of producing maybe five compounds, you now can produce a repertoire or even a whole new class of stuff, right? So, okay. so in that sense, th the idea of using natural language to do something very specific and help in a very professional capacity is I think some of the stuff that I'm very, very excited about.